Hey guys, Epic Review Guy here. So I've been testing out several MP3 speakers to use on my new little MP3 player, the Kobe here. And so I'm testing today the DB foldable speakers, the Music Bullet, and the iHome speaker system, if you can see that. So these range from $5.00 for this DB system up to $19.99 for the iHome system. So that's kind of the price range you're going to be looking at. Now I'm going to get this one out of the way quick because I'm going to recommend you don't get this. This is the DB Fold Away Home System. It has a volume on top and it takes four AAA batteries. But I plugged this thing in. I listened to it for about a minute. I was disappointed at the sound range. It didn't have very much volume. And before I had much of a chance to even test it out, it blew something in there, cracked, popped, and then smoke started coming out of the volume, right where the switch is. Now I cracked open the batteries and they were cool, so it wasn't the batteries that were smoking, it was something in the wiring. But anyways, it's pretty scary, so I'm not going to recommend this DB fold-up system, and I'm not using it again, I'll tell you that, but for $5, I don't know what I was expecting. Some Chinese kid had a bad day that day, get revenge on the Americans. All right, so the next one I looked at was the Music Bullet, which I really like this Music Bullet. Now, the nice thing about this has a couple nice features. One is this pop-up and fold-away feature. It's called the Super Bass. But this doesn't have a ton of bass, but the volume's not bad on it. It actually is pretty loud, and the sound clarity's not bad. It comes with its own cord. Now, this you can use to plug it into the speakers. You also cord right here. To charge it on the system so it comes with the cord that charges off of a USB and then this is the one that goes into the speakers but the thing I like about this is there's no batteries to put in this it doesn't take any batteries it's got an internal battery that you just charge off of your computer and it lasts pretty long surprisingly long I found so I don't know if over time that would probably wear down but I was pretty happy with the music volume but I thought I could upgrade and I tried to go with this iHome now the iHome I would say that the music quality is better and it is louder there's no volume on the actual system itself so it's just going to be the volume off of your mp3 player the cord hides down here kind of on the bottom and pops out so that's nice it can tuck away pretty good this system is just about too big to be super portable but i could fit it in my jacket pocket and take it with me but uh I would say the sound quality and the um, sound volume wasn't better enough over the Music Bullet that it would be worth hauling something this big because the Music Bullet really fits in your pocket nice. You know, this can just fit in a jacket pocket easy and it's light. Where this takes three AA batteries plus it's fairly heavy anyways. So it's all right for maybe carrying into the bathroom or hauling around to a different room in the house, but I don't know if I'd want to take this one to work with me every day. But this is the iHome. But still a good speaker system, and like I said, I was fairly happy with it for $19.99. Now the Music Bullet, on the other hand, you can get for about $9.99. I'm going to put links to both of these underneath, where you can get these and a lot of other speaker systems too, so you have your chance to look around and browse. But really good prices on these two speakers, and I like both of them, but I'm not completely satisfied. I haven't found my perfect speaker yet. So I'm going to keep buying a couple more and doing a little more research and I'll come back and do some more reviews. Sound quality is pretty good on them for speakers of this price. So I mean they're not going to be thousand dollar speaker quality, you know, it's a twenty dollar speaker and a ten dollar speaker. But if you're looking for something portable that you can just take with you and use other than your headphones, I would recommend either one of these really. I think they're pretty good. So go ahead, take a look, um, click that link below, go check these out at the website. I'll catch you guys on the next review.